Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is another exciting video because today we are going to talk about a particular highlighter that is kind of hyped about and I was really intrigued with this. This is the NYX Away V Glow Liquid Highlighter. So if you want to see what it does and comparisons with other highlighters then stay tuned and let's get started and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you mean a lot and do ring the bell icon there because you will be notified every time I upload. So this is in the shade Crystal Glare and the quantity is 6.8 ml which is a really good quantity I believe and they do have so many more shades but I chose this one because this looked appealing. So now we will be reading what this product claims to do. So it says the features are creamy lightweight texture. From soft to intense the lighting you love most is totally buildable. Just dab and blend to add luminosity to any look. And the price is 750 rupees but you can get it on discount. I got it for 600 rupees from Nykaa. So now we will first see some swatches and if I can get any dupe of it. So first I'll show you the applicator and it has a teardrop applicator. So this is the swatch and this does settles down into a powder form and uh, I think it won't move after that. So I think this, so this eyeshadow from Kiko which I have talked about earlier as well in the shade 02, I think this is a close match. Let's check it out. So can you see that? It's, it's kind of Similar. You know what? I'll just check my mirror luminizer if it is the same. So pairing it with the other powder highlighter will make it pop even more. So I'm taking my mirror luminizer and I'll just swatch it beside it. Yeah, it's almost similar. So I think I'm driven to these kind of shades more. So now we'll just apply it to my cheeks. not blend well so I'll suggest to go in with beauty blenders so I don't really think you need to set it with some other highlighter because this is so damn good so I'll just suggest you guys to use to blend it as soon as possible because this will settle down and it might be hard to blend do not put this on top of powder it will get patchy obviously because this is a liquid product so I really like this product and this is so easy easy and quick so if you're someone who is not very pleased with powder highlighters you can definitely go in with these now what I'll do is I'll try to pop some powder highlighters on top of it just to see how it performs and I'm not going to take something as blinding as Mary Luminizer because we all know this is so good so I think what I'll take is this one from Wet n Wild this is also a good highlighter but not as blinding as a Mary Luminizer. It went on very smooth, it did not cling to any patches or it is not patchy at all. It went on pretty smooth and the glow is unreal. So for 750 bucks, this is unreal. This is so nice. I really liked it. So okay, let me just try and remove the swatch. Can you guys see that the powders moved away but this one is still there. So this is here to stay baby. This is so good. So that was it for this video. This turned out to be a real quick video because this did not take time at all for me to decide I like it or not. Definitely I like it. This gets a very 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 big yes for me. You know what? I'm just not going to remove this makeup right now. And so yeah that's it for the video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and links to my social media that is only Instagram is linked down below and make sure you follow me there stay tuned for more videos bye bye